There's no mistaking its parapet-like towers and intricate spires. Tower Bridge has linked the City of London to South Bank for well over a century. Built from necessity, a bridge was needed to allow increasing foot and carriage traffic across the river without interrupting boats and shipping, while being level enough for horses pulling carts and carriages without requiring them to go up a ramp or down a ramp on either side. Tower Bridge is a marvel of Victorian engineering and construction. Tours which operate regularly for the public are indeed a treat. Climbing up and down the insides of the towers, deliberately designed to look graceful and fit in with the aesthetic of the Tower of London nearby. The towers are mostly decorative rather than functional, hiding the unsightly metal girders. These tours operate year-round for the public, but come November, a more exclusive behind-the-scenes bonus tour will be available for visitors, as tour guide Kevin Fenner explains. On a behind-the-scenes tour, you have uh, the regular tour, which um, happens throughout the public spaces of the bridge, but you also, as a bonus, get to go down underneath the towers uh, into the piers uh, where uh, the roadway opens uh, and disappears to as it's opening. Um, and then uh, as it closes, uh, the bascule chambers open up again. Um, this is an area where we do it in the um, months between November and February uh, because there's very little traffic happening on the river and uh, we can kind of count on the fact that the bridge will be able to open or rather be stay, staying closed uh, for the tour. Bascule, a French word meaning seesaw, is part of the working structure of the bridge, seen far less often even on special tours than the walkways above the water. I'm in the bascule chamber. This is the business end of the road deck as it goes up and down. If I point up there, you'll see this white section of the bridge here. That's the counterweight. So when they need to raise the bridge to allow ships to go through, this white part will come down following this track It'll go past all these curved stairs and depending on how big the boat is, how much clearance it needs, that kind of determines how much they'll open the bridge and so therefore how much they'll lower their counterweight. Until the 1970s, over a hundred bridge operators each shift manned levers, pulleys and engine rooms to ensure the bridge would open without a hitch each and every time a boat needed to pass. These days, however, the old water pumps and steam engines have been replaced, with hydraulic oil motors and electric switches doing the work. But the old engines are still on show. It looks and is heavy duty, built for an important purpose in the heart of central London. The whole reason it exists, aside from being a bridge, is to let ships pass underneath it. So what does it cost for a boat that might need the bridge raised in order for it to get past? It's zero. It's free to the boat user by the 1885 Act of Parliament that authorized the construction of the bridge. The, the bridge opens on demand. Uh, we uh, need 24 hours notice, um, written notice please, uh, and we need to know the boat is more than 9 meters tall. After that we'll open any time of the day and pretty much any day of the week. We just ask that you don't come through at Christmas time. Simon Anderson, London Live.